Hi, welcome to Floodgate. My name's Heidi. And I'm Joe. And if you're watching this video, that means you're exploring the job market, which for some can be highly rewarding experience. But for many, can be a difficult time of rejection and a lot of waiting before that big break eventually happens. And we want you to help put your best foot forward and avoid a lot of the mistakes that others have made before you and capitalize on many of the best practices as well. So without further ado, here are our top do's and don'ts when it comes to the interview process. Do get active on LinkedIn. I cannot emphasize this enough. It's like a never ending virtual career fair. So you need to jump in and get active. For starters, make sure your profile looks sharp in every way. Then start participating in targeted discussions that involve key influencers. It's not rocket science, but the recruits can be astronomical. Do your own research when you're checking out an opportunity. Recruiters will give you some basics. You'll want to dig in much deeper by researching the company page, their social pages, the financials, the sandbox they play in, and the bigger picture of their products or services and how it fits into the larger healthcare mosaic. Do talk to trusted advisors. Ask for their input as you explore different companies or verticals. Try and get a few different pieces of input for every role you're considering so you're not just going on one person's take on things. Do pick your recruiter's brain on market conditions. Recruiters represent quite possibly the industry's best kept treasure trove of industry intel. So the next time you get a recruiter on the line. Like me. Yeah. Ask them some open-ended questions about the verticals or companies that interest you. 15 minutes with a knowledgeable recruiter could save you 15, oh wait, sorry. sorry. I should could, be like the gecko. Yeah, you could be a gecko. It's equivalent to a few hours of research at minimum. Stay organized, do it. Keep track of the who's, what's, where's of each opportunity you're considering and don't wait for them to follow up with you. Take the initiative. Do some soul searching. Our other video on sketching out your needs, wants, wishes, is a great in-depth resource and I'd recommend you check it out. But the point is, know what you want. Invest your own time and energy into a process you're lukewarm on. It's a huge waste of time for both you, the recruiter, and the company. Right. All right, so the don'ts. First, don't believe it will be quick. You will be disappointed. It takes a lot longer than you don't. think, no don't. matter how stellar your career's been. Don't believe everything you read or hear on social media. Fake news, anybody. Or even in person for that matter. Every company is going to have their naysayers. And in my experience, I found an uncanny correlation between those individuals who complain or the ones that are frequently on the PIP plans. My point is, take the stuff with a grain of salt. Don't right? expect to be recruited, right? Do you know what I mean? Like really recruited. It takes two to tango. So you've got to know when to lean in and sell yourself. If you play hard to get, it's very possible that the influencers or decision makers will focus their efforts on candidates who want it a lot more than you do. Don't circumvent your point person. If you're working with a recruiter, don't cut them out of the deal. If you have a relationship with someone back at the company, it will come back to bite you. Don't invite your ego into the process. Your emotions are gonna be all over the place during this journey and it's nearly impossible to stay even keel but don't do something stupid and pass on an incredible job offer just because you found out the number one turned it down and you're the number two guy if it's your number one job and they made an offer to you then take it it's that simple i hope these do's and don'ts have helped you land your dream job and accomplish our mission thank you